Forget everything you thought you knew. CES 2026 has officially confirmed that the robot era is no longer coming. It is already here. This year's show delivered a turning point. Realbotics revealed a humanoid so realistic that it finally breaks through the uncanny valley. Engine AI demonstrated robots that can sprint and leap with the speed and control of professional athletes. Tombot introduced Jenny, a robotic puppy built entirely around emotional comfort. From rollable laptops to AI-powered sneaker cleaners and L'Oreal's smart face mask, CES 2026 was packed with moments that felt unreal just a few years ago. Hey everyone, Alfie here. Welcome back to AI Nexus. Let's break it all down. Realbotics opened the realism frontier with the debut of DavidBot, a male humanoid engineered to push human likeness far beyond previous demonstrations. DavidBot uses an advanced facial animation system that synchronizes speech with extremely subtle micro-expressions. When the robot smiles, the muscles around its eyes respond naturally. When it pauses between sentences, the face relaxes instead of freezing into an artificial mask. This directly addresses one of robotics' most persistent challenges, the uncanny valley. Built on the Ascaria platform, DavidBot dynamically adjusts tone, facial movement, and expression based on detected emotional cues. Rather than delivering pre-scripted responses, the system reacts in real time. The robot is positioned for entertainment, hospitality, and customer-facing environments where emotional realism matters. The overall effect feels less like interacting with a machine and more like engaging with a responsive presence. If realism represented one extreme, physical performance defined the other. Engine AI showcased two humanoid platforms built entirely around motion and strength. The PM01 is a lightweight embodied agent designed for practical environments such as malls, transit stations, and guided public spaces. Its movement is fluid controlled and purpose-driven rather than theatrical. Then there is the T-800. This full-scale humanoid delivers up to 450 newton meters of torque per joint and nearly 14,000 watts of instantaneous power. That level of output enables sprinting, jumping, and dynamic combat-style movement. Instead of slow mechanical steps, the T-800 moves with the explosive control of a trained athlete. This marks a clear transition away from stage demos and toward robots designed for factories, emergency response, and demanding physical labor. Not every robot at CES was built for speed or strength. Some were designed for comfort and connection. Tombot introduced Jenny, a robotic companion developed for seniors living with dementia and individuals coping with anxiety. Jenny uses nine servo motors to control subtle motions such as ear movement, head tilt, eyebrow position, and tail wagging. The design was developed in collaboration with Jim Henson's Creature Shop, giving the robot organic motion instead of rigid animation. Capacitive touch sensors allow Jenny to respond naturally when petted or held. When interaction stops, the robot initiates gentle movement to re-engage. Priced at approximately $1,500, Jenny is not intended to replace therapy or caregiving, but to provide emotional presence for people who cannot care for a real pet. Display technology also made a major leap forward with Lenovo's ThinkPad Rollable XD. At first glance, it looks like a standard 13.3-inch laptop. Then the screen smoothly extends upward into a full 16-inch vertical workspace. The rollable panel is driven by dual motors and reinforced with steel cable supports to maintain flatness and rigidity. Unlike early concepts, there is no visible warping or distortion. Part of the display wraps around the exterior when closed, creating a world-facing screen for notifications and schedules. This design eliminates the need for external monitors while keeping the device travel-friendly. It is a practical evolution of foldable technology focused on productivity rather than spectacle. CES also delivered unexpected problem solvers. One of the most talked about products was the Brolon Clear X, an AI-powered sneaker cleaning system. Shoes are scanned internally to identify materials such as leather, suede, or mesh. Based on this data, the system automatically selects an optimized cleaning and drying cycle. The core technology uses micro nanobubbles that penetrate fabric without soaking it, removing dirt while preserving structure and adhesives. With a projected price between $500 and $800, it targets collectors rather than casual users. 
It solves a niche problem most people never realize could be automated. Behind many of these breakthroughs stands one key company, Qualcomm. At CES 2026, Qualcomm introduced the Dragonwing IQ10 chip, purpose-built for physical AI systems. The chip features an 18-core Orion CPU and delivers up to 700 tops of AI performance, more than 10 times the capability of most AI-focused laptops. It supports up to 20 simultaneous camera inputs, enabling robots to see, reason, and act in real time. Paired with a visual language action model, the system allows machines to understand objects and how they should be handled. This architecture is designed to move robotics out of laboratories and into everyday environments. Personal flight also returned in a serious way with the Air EV. Unlike air taxi concepts, this electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is designed for private ownership. It uses a fly-by-wire system where onboard computers manage stability while the pilot controls direction. The aircraft reaches speeds of 155 miles per hour with a range of approximately 110 miles. For the 2026 version, blade geometry was redesigned to significantly reduce noise, one of the biggest barriers to adoption. Instead of flashy futuristic visuals, Air EV focuses on usability and garage scale storage. It positions personal flight as a lifestyle tool rather than a science experiment. If Air EV resembles a flying car, the Rotor X4 feels closer to a flying dirt bike built for solo pilots. It uses a multi-rotor design with an open field of view. The standout feature is autonomous obstacle avoidance. Using LiDAR and ultrasonic sensors, the system detects trees, cables, and terrain in real time. Takeoff and landing are fully AI-assisted, lowering the skill barrier for new pilots. Battery density improvements have extended flight time to roughly 30 minutes, a notable increase over earlier models. The X4 signals a shift from proving flight is possible to proving it can be safe and accessible. Minimalism reached an extreme with the HP Elite Board G1A. There is no separate PC. The keyboard itself is the computer. Inside its 0.7-inch chassis sits an AMD Ryzen AI 300 series processor, cooling system, speakers, and microphones. It qualifies as a Copilot Plus PC with a dedicated NPU for AI workloads. Weighing under 1.5 pounds, it connects to any display via USB-C. The internal design is modular, allowing RAM and storage upgrades. This concept revives the spirit of early home computers, updated for cloud workflows and AI-driven productivity. Wearables also receive major upgrades. Lenovo previewed Kyra, lightweight AI-powered glasses weighing just 45 grams. The system provides near-instant live translation and contextual summaries of missed notifications without bulky hardware. For younger users, the Luca AI Cube targets Gen Alpha. The Cube uses multimodal AI to identify objects and explain them through stories and facts. Instead of screen-based interaction, it encourages real-world exploration. These devices show AI moving away from apps and toward ambient assistance. Beauty technology took a scientific turn with L'Oreal's flexible LED face mask prototype. The silicone mask uses 630 nanometer red light and 830 nanometer near-infrared light, wavelengths known to support collagen production, and skin repair. An integrated microcircuit precisely controls exposure time and intensity. Unlike rigid designs, the mask conforms to facial contours for even treatment. Scheduled for a 2027 launch, it represents skincare shifting toward regulated data-driven wellness rather than cosmetic experimentation. Displays reached another milestone with Samsung's Z Trifold. Fully unfolded, it becomes a 10-inch tablet-sized screen. Despite the size, the device measures just 12.9 millimeters thick when folded. A dual hinge system allows three apps to run side-by-side -side with no performance drop. Powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite and paired with a 200-megapixel camera, the device emphasizes productivity over novelty. It shows foldables maturing into serious computing tools. The new Atlas is part of Hyundai Motor Group's long-term robotic strategy, with early deployments planned inside manufacturing facilities. The robot is fully sealed, water-resistant, and capable of operating across extreme temperatures. A swappable battery system provides up to four hours of continuous operation. When power runs low, Atlas can navigate to a station and replace its own battery, minimizing downtime. 
Intelligence marks the biggest shift. Through a partnership with Google DeepMind, Boston Dynamics is integrating advanced Gemini-based robotics models into Atlas, enabling perception, decision-making, and learning directly within the machine. LG took the stage to introduce CLID, the centerpiece of its zero-labor home vision. CLID is a home-specialized AI agent designed to physically handle daily chores. It features a humanoid-inspired upper body with expressive screen-based feedback, a stretchable torso, and two highly dexterous arms. Instead of legs, LG opted for a wheeled base with a low center of gravity, making CLID faster, safer, and more stable. What sets CLID apart is intelligence. Using vision language and vision language action models, CLID understands what it sees and turns instructions into physical actions. On stage, it loaded laundry, folded towels, cleared paths for robot vacuums, and prepared breakfast using connected appliances. This was not AI talking, it was AI working. At CES 2026, it became clear that smart homes are no longer about gadgets. They are about AI that lives with you. Samsung focuses on invisible coordination, LG emphasizes emotional intelligence, and SwitchBot prioritizes accessibility. Together, they point toward homes that understand how you live. Everything shown, robots, cars, displays, exist because of three companies. NVIDIA opened CES with a clear message, AI is becoming physical. AMD followed with major infrastructure partnerships and powerful on-device AI. Intel quietly returned with new chips and humanoid robotics. CES 2026 was not about concepts. It was about deployment. The robot revolution did not arrive quietly. It walked, rolled, flew, and worked its way into reality. If you want more deep breakdowns on how AI companies really operate, subscribe now. New videos every week exposing what actually matters behind the headlines.